Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Tristan Amelcaster, and today I just wanted to show you my pet collection that I've been collecting for a couple years now. I have around 30 to 50 pets, and just want to show you some of the cool pets I have in this collection. So, first pets I have are right here. This is... Uh, these two are... This is an Infer Inferno Beast, and this is the Cloud Beast. First, let's show you the Cloud Beast. Pretty cool pet. Uh, right here, it is pretty much the Forest Lord pet, but it also gives Storm attributes when you start getting leveled up, so I really like that pet. This is the Inferno Beast, which is just a fire version of the same pet. It also gives fire attributes, and very good pet. So these are just a bunch of common pets that don't really matter. This one, a lot of people do know about, but I just want to show you it anyways. Just a pretty cool, uh, it's a baby skeleton warrior. Um, really like it, as you can see, it, it really is a cool looking pet. And um, I think it's a cool looking pet, but it really doesn't give any stats, so it's no use in using it for like help uh, full things like combat. So I like that pet a lot, but it's no huge use for it. It's just for looks, and I, I like the looks of the pet. So let's place that pet back down. Where, sh where is the spot to place? Okay, there. These pets right here are pretty awesome pets. Um, as you can see, it is a silverback wild claw. These pets actually have good pedigrees, but they also don't really give anything unless you get it leveled up. They actually, I think, do give good stats. So these wild claws are good. The pedigree is good for a pet that. You can get, I think, from the Ravens in uh, Raven Scar, uh, the Glacial Waste. So that's where you can get that pet from a drop. I have a bunch of satyrs from uh, farming with, uh, a ha I mean, hatching with other people. It just gave me a bunch of these. And yeah, I have uh, five. I think about five. Five. I have five satyrs. So those are good pets. These right here are pretty good pets also and I'm missing a couple of good ones too <clears throat> this is a storm demon this actually came with the wizard 101 gift card I really like this pet I like the card it also it has a good use if you use minions but I don't really use minions so not an amazing use for me but I like that pet next we have I like this pet a lot this actually you can get from the Marleybone pet shop it's a secret pet shop it's a wood golem looks cool uh... doesn't really you know have anything special about it just the looks and really awesome pet like how it twirls and stick and stuff cool pet so and forgot to show you this this is a forest crawler this actually is a hatch between an ice wyvern and a forest lord really cool looking pet probably one of the coolest looking pets in this collection as you can see it's just an ice wyvern but it's green and gold so it has this really cool color and really nice design Let's go back to this pet. We'll place this back down. Okay, so this is an, another awesome pet. This is an Ice Bird. And the Ice Bird, it gives a good card if you're ice. It's not really that powerful of a card, but it's pretty awesome still. And the Ice Bird looks really cool. I like the look of it. I like how it just, it's a, it's, it's just really cool looking. And I think the pedigree is not really good, but it's an awesome pet. I really like the Ice Bird, and I've had it for a pretty long time. So let's put that back down. Here is a Life Bat, but I already have a Life Bat, so we're not going to take a look at that one. I want to show you the other Life Bat I have. And the other Life Bat I have is... where would that be? Oh, right here. This is my life bat. This pet's been with me for a very long time. And it's probably one of my favorite pets. They're both named Roko <laughs> Um Yeah, Ancient. Uh, been leveling it up. Looks really cool. It's pretty much a blood bat, but it has a different color of brown, so it doesn't look exactly like one. Uh, it does give a very cool card, life bat. Uh, it's kind of like a sprite, but gives it to everybody. So, I, I really like the card. And yeah, so let's put the blood back back, and I'll show you a couple more pets I have in this collection that I think you will like. This actually, this giraffe right here is just from the new Wizard 101 gift card. So I mean, uh, not gift card, but the uh, Mega 
uh, bundle, Mega Bundle, or Epic Bundle, Epic Bundle, that's what I meant. So it's a nice pet, I really like it. Jellyfish, got this from a Celestia quest, I think I remember. Uh, does have a pretty good pedigree, but I don't really use it a lot, it's just a cool looking pet. Right here, this is a pet that whenever somebody comes to my house, they wonder, how did I get it? I really like it, the pedigree is low, but it's a nice pet. It is a... Let's see that uh, baby frog, and I really like the look of the frog. I, I like this pet a lot. So that is my frog. Uh, right here is my leprechaun pet. It actually gives a leprechaun card. I really like that pet right there, Mr. Winston. Let's see. Right here is my uh, doom hound, or I think that's a name. Uh, and that is that used to be really good. What I think was the first pet to give out uh, sprightly or spiritly. Really good pet. Pet count right there. And finally, this I got from I th I think I remember Rattlebones Midnight Sprite. I think it's called. Let me see the name of it. Uh, Miss Sprite. And it just looks really cool. I like the Miss Sprite a lot. So those are some looks on some of my pets. The rest are, some of them I did miss, but a lot, most of them are just uncommon pets. That, I mean, common pets that you can see anytime. So I hope you guys like this uh, walkthrough of my pet collection. I will see you later. Bye.